Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel, Indigo Goddess 1111. I want to thank you guys all for coming and watching my video for your channeled messages. So, um, I meditated on your guys' situations and here is what Spirit has for you. So, your overall energy for the month would be Judgment Day. It's time. It's time to decide what path you're taking, where you're going, what you're doing, who you're bringing with you, and what the hell you're going to do. Spirit is saying that you've been hiding from the whole world, including yourself. You didn't know what you wanted, and if you did know what you wanted, you didn't know how to go about getting it. You had confusion within yourself. You didn't feel you knew how to deal with your emotions. You didn't even know what your emotions meant. You've been putting in a lot of work, though, Virgos. A lot of work. So kudos to you. Balance is needed in your life, though. You need to restore your sense of self. You're lost. You are just being tossed around. And you're just tired of others dictating how your life's going to go. You're tired of people telling you what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. And then expect you to be happy about it. You need to take control. And you are doing that. You're also tired of the imbalance. The give and the take, you feel like you're just being taken from, taken advantage of. You do so much for everybody and yeah, you're just, you feel unappreciated. You do everything for everybody, most of the time without even being asked. But you're who everybody comes to when they need something. It's almost like they've come to expect it. But when you're in need, when you need help, nobody's there. You're going to find harmony this month. You're going to find balance. And you're going to do all this by opening up communication. Telling people how you honestly feel. Telling yourself it's okay to feel what you honestly feel. Someone in your space, and it could possibly be you, Virgo, I can't I can't tell if it's you or somebody within your immediate space, they need to heal from childhood issues. Because it's making you emotionally unavailable. I also see you going in circles. It's insane. Quit it. <laughs> You're... You need to break these cycles, Virgo. I see you going around and around and around. And if you don't learn the lessons that you need to learn from this partner that you're currently with, you're going to keep repeating these same cycles with the infidelity, the cheating, except for it's going to be somebody new next time. It's, going to, it's just going to keep coming up into your life. You need to break this cycle. You need to break free. You need to find within yourself the courage to face your fear. When you face your fear, you will step out and break these cycles. 
you need to create a new foundation. You need to realize that you deserve to be happy. You're so worried about making everyone else happy that you're sitting in the same spot, creating these cycles over and over again because you're worried about everybody else before your own before your own emotions, your own heart, your own happiness, your own creativity, your own world. For a group of you Virgos though, I see you breaking these cycles this month. I see you moving on by mid-March, but you're keeping it a secret. You are putting forward the steps it takes to move away, but you're not letting anyone in on it. And you are slowly healing yourself. And in that, you are releasing your current partner that you're with before you even physically leaving them. Because, because it no longer serves you and you know this. Somebody though, whoever you are connecting with, whoever your partner is, they are manipulating you. They are manipulating you by using your children to try to get you to stay. But Spirit is saying, don't let that stop you because your children are not going to be kept from you if you leave. And your children will only benefit if you are moving in a direction that is going to make you happy in a healthy way. You are going to come into contact, Virgo, by accident with your divine partner, mid-March. You already know these people, this person, and you possibly already know that they're your twin flame. But you are going to look at them because you have cut them off from you. You have been in separation for months and you have blocked communication for at least a couple months. No communication whatsoever. You are going to have a chance meeting with them. Nothing planned. Accidentally run into them. And just with one look in their eyes, you Virgos are going to realize what you've been missing all along. It's a hard lesson to learn dealing with this partner that you're currently with. But once you learn that lesson, you will move on and you will move on to one of the most beautiful connections you're ever going to have. There's going to be sudden endings with partners this month. You are just going to awake and end it now. Don't let those repeating patterns keep going, Virgo. You have to do something different in order to get a different result. And stability will come to you once you move in that new direction. When you take the steps to move towards that twin flame, Yes, it's going to affect everyone involved, but it's going to be in a positive. It's going to hurt. It's going to suck really bad right now for some people, but in the end, it's going to benefit everybody. For a lot of you, Virgos, it's a fire sign coming in. Passionate. Your connection was unbelievable. For another group of you, it was, it'll be a water sign. I'm not seeing any air or earth right now, but that doesn't mean that that is not coming in. The tower is here and it's going to give you liberation and freedom. You just have to have faith, believe in yourself, face your fear and take that step because every step you take, the divine is blessing it. So just remember to keep your thoughts positive, focus on your desires, and suppress your fears because your thoughts are creating your reality. You are manifesting 
whether you know it or not. So manifest that perfect partner, that perfect divine partnership that is going to change the world. Divine timing is here. It is now. And it is time for you to be with your soul's partner, your divine partner, your twin flame, whatever you want to call it, to fulfill your soul's purpose, your reason for being here. So good luck, Virgos. I see March being a beautiful month for you. Mid-March, things are ending. By the end of March, you have new beginnings. And it's just going to be amazing. You just have to face your fear. If you don't face your fear, you're going to continue that cycle. And you're going to be here next year and the year after that. And it's just going to continue until you learn that lesson and take that step and face that fear. So with that, Virgos, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a beautiful March and um, new things are coming in for you that are so unbelievable. So embrace it and remember to live for today. Don't worry about your future. Don't be stuck in your past because today is the only moment we have to live. So make sure you're living it, Virgos. With that being said, I wish you love and light and God bless.